Welcome back guys, it's CWG Studios here. Today we are working on my Planet Coaster Second Park Desert Escape. We're building a new Mac Rides multi-launch coaster. Originally I was going to put it over there, but that's where the RMC Raptor model will go. And it'll go around that, uh, that gorge type area <clears throat> with all the spiky rocks and everything. And so I was kind of experimenting with where I want to put the launch coaster. And I eventually move it to the other side of that uh, trail or path. And I'm using the launched torque model because it reminds me of full throttle because that's, uh, that's what it's based on. And so that's the final location, I believe. And f I know like a lot of people hate full throttle because they say it's the backwards launch is like really bad and i have to agree with them it has no point whatsoever but i do like it it's it's a good ride um i've never ridden it though but it's a good ride i'm just from based on everyone i know their experiences i'm gonna say it's a good ride it's definitely not the best ride at magic mountain i'd have to say twisted cyclone my opinion uh yeah so after it comes out of the station it curves down into the launch section and right now i'm tunneling out the launch not quite sure if i want to do that in the final version i'm still kind of making it uh at the point of recording the voiceover it's not 100 percent complete and so now i'm working on making the tunnel look a bit more natural get rid of the arch that makes it a tunnel and now it's just kind of a gorge or a valley but it's a vertical valley that's what it's called so i'm making a vertical valley here it's probably not a real term but i don't care um yeah so the launch ends about halfway up with a spike mm, maybe one third one third way so now I'm still doing some terrain scaping to make it look a bit more natural because I want this park to really look natural and like everything was made uh, f using the terrain to its advantage. Like, I want it to feel like there's no terrain scaping at all. It's just natural. So, yes. It's frozen. So I guess I was like AFK. So my original idea for this was to have an arch right where the uh, right where the launch track ends, and then I'm kind of playing around with elements at the top. Um, I originally wanted a loop or something like that, maybe an element, but I decided to do. But I want it to be a different, a little different. So as you can see, the top hat's kind of like, right now it's slanting up and it's gonna go steeper and then come down. But I think at the end, I made a giant overbanked turn that swoops down the edge and goes over the launch track. And so now I'm experimenting with the carts and building up a extra bit of track to see how I want the top hat to look. I originally just scrapped the top hat idea. It's no longer a thing. Now we have a giant overbanked turn like what I said earlier. And so I want it to do a little bit of a top hat curving overbanked turn weird thing. And so I wanted it to go that direction and then curve down. But then I decided to scrap it and go the other side. There's kind of a natural shadow in the crease on the other side of the lunch track. And that is where, um, that is where I wanted the overbank to go originally. And so now I was playing around with some elements, a few immelmans working in there. Not really good at all. I tried an Immelman, did not work well at all. 
Um, I think my best bet would have been like a cobra roll or a bat wing, but I guess I didn't do that. Or yeah, it's right there. I think. I think that's the cobra. No, that's a sea serpent. I think that's sea serpent. Uh, yeah. So I think I kept this section I'm working on and just scrapped the overbank turn at the top and then just switched it to the other side of the launch track. So if this was a real ride, I'd definitely call it Mac Ride's most um, scary, I guess, roller coaster. Um, most intense, definitely most intense mock rides ever would make. Normally they make family coasters, um, but you get a lot of G's on the final product of this. And that was one of my main goals, to give the riders a lot of G-forces and to really make them fly out of their seat, which is not good, but it's a game, so yeah. I believe the finished uh, name of the coaster is like Outlaw, what is it? Outlaw Run? No. That's the name of a key coaster, I think. Yeah. So I decided that this layout was kind of bland. And so, yeah, I removed all that. And then I made the bank, as you can see, on the other side. And I think this turned out a lot better because it looked a bit more natural going with the curve of the mountain. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Looks more natural, smooth. And then you go over the launch track. And I think I wanted to have like an S curve or an S bend around here. But I thought that would might be too painful. But I never checked the G's on that, I don't think. Because I'm smart. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how to transition it. I have a bit of a, uh, what is it called? It's a outback curve, I think, cutback curve. It's when you're, um, say you're going left, you're tilted right. So you really get a lot of G's on a turn like that. So I thought I wanted to have a really big loop. So yeah, I put a really big loop in. Then immediately following the loop, I have a giant cutback or banana roll. I think it was a banana roll. Let's see. Checking the stats. Make sure it's not too intense. Yes, I think I put in a banana roll. I like banana rolls, they're pretty cool. Yep, banana roll. No, that's a cutback. Yeah, it was a cutback. And now we, I think we do, I forgot what it's called, but you loop up and then turn as you go up. Yeah, I forgot the name of those. I feel pretty dumb. <laughs> It really looks good when you're looking in from the cutback. And then we have another uh, S-bend right there, or outward cutback turn, whatever you want to call it. I think it's coming to, I think it's going to be on the West Coast Racers. I'm not quite sure. I feel like it was on the trailer for West Coast Racers. And then we go into the... Um, the brakes. And so I did a few more modifications. I think I got rid of the brakes right there, and I put in after the, uh, s I don't know. It's not an Immelman. Let me switch that up. Immelman. It's like the opposite of an Immelman. Yeah, it's pretty much the opposite of an Immelman. Like on Gatekeeper. It's pretty much the first drop, but backwards, if that makes sense. So after that, I think I put a corkscrew 
which is probably not very, you know, comfortable. But I think it really, it fits the dynamic, because right after the, um, I think it might be a barrel roll. It's not a barrel roll. It might be a heartline roll. I forgot. We'll see sometime. But after the roll, you, um, it's really smooth going into the breaks after that roll. So later this video, we're gonna decorate the, you know, the station of the coaster. And it's gonna have kind of a old temple kind of feel. Whoa, my computer froze. But yeah, so, um, at least we didn't lose the recording. But yeah, so this is basically the, um, this is the plaza. And so it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's not an island. It is not an island. Ah, uh, I thought it was an island. Um, yeah, it's connected. But basically it's like an old temple, maybe. I don't know what it is. Don't question me on it. It's just a temple. I really like the look of it, though. I like the sta sandstone in the game. So I changed the part of the track color to yellow, but it just it just blacked out. <laughs> I feel like I should change the color of the cars. They're blue and red, which is not good for the theme of Outlaws. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna change that after this recording. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys want the next episode of Planet Coaster to be. Um, I know I have kind of a schedule, but I'm kind of flexible. You, you guys just might see part of a episode before that episode releases, I guess. So maybe I'm working on a tropical zone. You might see a new roller coaster. So, yeah. It's not part of the tropical zone because you requested the park creation in different order. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna do it like that. And now we're making the roof, which was so hard to make. It was so annoying. It, I think it took like a toll on me. It was the most annoying thing I had to do in that recording process. Cause for some reason, they don't align. So I had to make, I think, one, two, I think I had to make four different buildings. I had to align them individually. And I had to make sure they were the same height and everything. It did, it just not look good from heads, heads view, bird's eye view, not at all. It's not equal at all, it's just bad. But you can't tell. It's not like anyone's going to notice. Now we're doing some decor. I want it to feel like a swamp. So I think I used some, yeah, seaweed on the building. Um, I used a few swamp trees. The big Brazil nut trees. I love those. They're really good decor. I used a lot of vines on this building. Vines, I think, are one of my favorite uh, scenery pieces because it's a lot of detail for not a lot of effort, I guess, because you can just have it auto, like, uh, auto align. That's a really good option for seaweed scenery because all you have to do is make sure it's the right height on a wall like this. You don't have to make sure it's the right depth unless you want to have it a bit sunken in only show parts of it.
I don't know why I put Ivy. It's too English to me. You know, it doesn't remind me of a swamp. It reminds me of England. Because English Ivy is from the English. <laughs> It's from the UK in that area, because it's, you know, it's called that. Um, yeah, planting some trees. There's some more rocks used. The terrain is pretty much flat. Adding some more trees around the launch area. And I think I might have um, encased the launch in a tunnel. I have to check. I'm not 100% sure if I did it. But I'm pretty sure I encased it and then put lights uh, inside of the tunnel. So I think that turned out really well in the end. More trees and rocks. Brazil nut trees coming out again. Really handy. They're good for covering a lot of space with using only one scenery piece so you don't take a toll on your computer's graphics or frames. One of the best things you can do to make your terrain not look plain if you don't want to put any scenery on it is to use different textures. So with the scenario editor, you can choose different um, brushes for the landscape and for the terrain. So you can choose a lot of different combinations. You can always edit them in the scenario editor. So that's really cool. Uh, it's really handy. I use it all the time. And so I'm making an extra path that connects the, um, the, the exit, yeah, that, I was at a loss for words, the exit to both rides, the Larson Super Loop and the Mach Ride, Coasty, uh, Coasty, Coasty, the Mach Ride's Coasty, coming to you, uh, April 30th, 30th. Um, yeah, so I connected the exits and then put the entry in the same kind of area. And right here we're building a little, uh, restaurant, kind of, but Planet Coasters kind of sucks because you can't actually have a real restaurant. My dog wants to go outside. I think I put a taco shop and a chief beef chief beef in a taco shop I really like that look if you just want to add a bit more detail to any walls just add like supports or rimmings to the top or just a few like simple windows it doesn't have to be too fancy but then I used those arches to give it a bit of a nicer look and notice the blueprints that I used in the last episode those the walls of those aren't actual wall pieces they are individually placed wooden poles I think so whoever made that like shout out to them it must have taken a long time they probably just made a blueprint blueprint did I just say blueprint? I said blueprint. They probably just made a blueprint of each wall section, then just use that blueprint over and over. But nevertheless, it looks really good. Shout out to you. I don't know who you are. If anyone finds them, let me know. Then I can give them a formal shout out. Um, yeah, so it was a taco shop. Was it a milkshake taco shop? Oh, it was a taco shop and a spicy chicken shop. So basically, Mexican food.
My AFK again? Is Chad AFK? I think I am. We have six more minutes and I'm AFK. What's going on? I guess this is life now. Sitting here in the dark in front of a Mexican food stand in the desert. Ah, oh, there we go. We're not AFK anymore. So now we're, I think we're adding some scenery. So some lights. I remember adding some barrels and baggage to the whole uh, front uh, entrance plaza. I don't know. Uh, yeah, just in front of the building, I added that inside to frame both of the shops. I think it looks pretty good. If I could, I would definitely change the colors. Oh, look, I can. I just didn't know or didn't want to. But I think I changed the color. It looks very fairy tale ish, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, we added some lights around the whole area. I really like the storm lanterns, they're pretty good. Then a nice solid light, a lot of character and design in them. Security guard's getting some chicken, isn't he? I tried using some of those. I don't know if I kept them. I think it might have been like too much work, I think to have them all line. I might have just done it on the front though. I don't like that. Please tell me I got rid of that. If I didn't, I will, I promise I'll do it in the next episode. I really hope I got rid of that. So, the uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon people, they helped make this game, but it was Frontier who actually, you know, made the game good. And so, they're releasing a new planet or planet coaster. They're releasing a new roller coaster tycoon, and it's trash. It's on the Epic Games Store. I watched it, or I watched the trailer while I was watching, um, or out as I was updating the trash video game that is now Fortnite. Um, it's really bad. There, everyone knows planet coasters better than every single roller coaster tycoon game yet they're still trying to re reboot the old title of roller coaster tycoon it's really annoying they just should just give up and invest their time in planet coaster the game that people like and i know everyone's gonna say oh people like no limits too too um yeah but that doesn't have scenery you know you can make a theme park no limits too and that other one those are for making roller coasters not theme parks but i get where you're going my computer crashed again that is so annoying i forgot what we were talking about ah now we're adding the pots and pans and luggage and stuff and i hope we get rid of that over top thing above the lights it's so disgusting Are we AFK again? Jeez. You know, maybe I should edit out being AFK. Yeah, I probably won't. I don't care. Putting a rope there for no apparent reason. Putting a snake there for no apparent reason. Besides, snakes are cool. Because that is a fact. Am I going to put a spaceship there? Like, <laughs> that would be weird. Ooh, should I put a zebra there? I'm thinking I should put a tiger or a zebra or something there. Look at that tiger boy. I think that's when I just figured out that there were animated objects. So I just put a tiger down because I wanted to see what a tiger did. And I am AFK again. I was playing Kahoot at my school. Uh, for it was like a science quiz or something on Kahoot, but it was like it wasn't a real quiz. It was like just a practice, 
and I made my name Chadis AFK. I don't know why, but I did, and I guess that name is, you know, living up to its uh, name. Their name is living up to its name, because I am AFK. Not anymore, I am making a ladder. And apparently I cannot make the ladder in the right spot. Cause I'm a pleb. I'm a AFK again, aren't I? Is this it? We're pretty close to 27 minutes. I don't know. Yep, this is it. I'm getting a phone call and I'm about to end the recording. That sucks. I'll call them back. Yeah. <laughs>